Hi guys, um, Terry here again, right? Um, in this video, I'm going to be going through one of the questions in the January 2022 CSEX physics paper, right? Um, so the question I'm on now is the third question, right? So this question says state the law, state two laws of reflection, right? So if you have to answer a question like this, what I suggest you guys do is to sketch a diagram, right? Find a little space somewhere, but try to sketch a diagram. So one, right? What we can say is that the incident ray, right? The reflected ray right? and the normal all lie in the same plane right so this is one of our laws of reflection right so don't mix up this with refraction and eh? this is reflection right and the second one is the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection right now when I say draw a simple diagram what you need to do you need to draw a mirror right so this here represents my mirror and I'm going to draw a normal to the surface so this is my normal here right and what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a ray approaching the mirror, right? So that ray that is approaching is called my incident ray, right? And because it's going to be reflected, this is what's going to happen here. So this here is my reflected ray, right? So in terms of angles, this is my angle of incidence I here. And this here is my angle of reflection. So I is my angle of incidence. Right? R is the angle of reflection. Right? And therefore I is equal to R. Right? That's what we say. Angle of incidence equal to the angle of reflection. Now the next part here, they want us to state four properties of an image formed in a plane mirror. So that's as if you are looking in a mirror. So one, right, the image, so you want the properties of the image, right? So the first property is that your image is a virtual image, right? The second property is that your image is laterally inverted, right? So therefore, when you hold up your right hand, it appears as if you are holding up your left hand right so that's um, a second property the next thing is that the image size is the same as the object size right so we can see that in terms of image or you can just put image size image size is the same as object size right and the fourth thing is that your image distance, that's your distance between the image and the mirror. So your image distance is equal to the object distance. Right? So they just want four and we're going to give them four. Right? Next one here now. Maxwell washed his face in the restroom sink in his favorite restaurant. Looking into the mirror, he saw the image of the clock on the wall. See the actual um, time of the clock. Now, what he's seeing here is the image, right? He's seeing the image, so that's not the actual time. So what I'm going to do here, right? So let's... Let's make a little copy of this here. Right. Now this here 
right is not actually my object but I need to flip this a little bit right so this here right the diagram on the right hand side actually represents my mirror image right so the actual time if you look at that time there that's actually 10 past 10 right so this is actually 10 10 right that's your time there right the answer is 10 10 now the next part part d they said the refractive index is defined as the ratio of the speed of light in air to the speed of light in the medium where the mass where m means the medium and a means air using this definition for refractive index and the relationship between wavelength and frequency show that n is lambda a over lambda m right so this is what they're telling us they're saying that n is va over vm right now we also know that v is equal to f lambda right that's our wave equation right so therefore um in the case of our speed in air va is going to be my frequency multiplied by your wavelength in air which is lambda e and your speed in the medium vm is equal to f multiplied by lambda m right now since n is equal to va over vm right i'm going to replace the va and the vm with these two um, values here so that's going to be f multiplied by lambda e over f multiplied by lambda m the f's will cancel because when you have a wave traveling from one medium to the next there's no change in frequency so this becomes lambda e over lambda m right so two marks just for that a beam of green laser light of wavelength 352 nanometers in air travels in water calculate the wavelength right so we know that n is equal to lambda e over lambda in your medium so therefore 1.33 because that's the refractive index for water and the wavelength of the green laser is 532 nanometers so 532 by 10 to the minus 9 that's nanometers all over lambda m right so all we need to do here is cross multiply so 1.33 multiplied by lambda m is equal to 532 by 10 to the minus 9 so lambda m is equal to 532 by 10 to the minus 9 over 1.33 and that's going to give me and I'm getting 4 point how much is that I'm getting 4 point one one two three four five six seven so i'm getting four by ten to the minus seven meters right or you can actually say your answer being 400 nanometers right so those are two ways i can write the same answer right four by ten to the minus seven is the same as saying 400 nanometers right so two marks for that um, the next part there, they said, for special effects, a pool designer decides to fix a laser light at the bottom of the pool. Calculate the critical angle, right? Calculate the critical angle. So, critical angle, right? So, what we do know is that um, sine C, sine of your critical angle, is simply 1 over your refractive index. So, therefore, sine C is equal to 1 over one point. 3, 3. So therefore C is equal to arc sine of 1 divided by 1.33. So therefore C right I am getting 48.9 degrees right so that here is my um Sorry, 48 point, 48.9, 48 48.8. Right? So that's my uh, critical angle for the water air boundary. Right? And uh, the last part here, if the angle of incidence of the laser light at the 
water okay so you have water here right and you have a here you know that the critical angle we just got a critical angle of 48.8 right so let me draw a normal here now they said that the angle of incidence that's from inside the water right is 52 degrees so what's happening here you have a ray that is approaching here and this angle here is 52 degrees now your critical angle is 48.8 degrees so what that means is that your actual critical angle here right is 48.8 degrees so that means that your angle of incidence which is 52 is greater than the critical angle so therefore they said um said what happens to the light in the surface what happens to the light at the surface of the pool right so all we need to say here is that the light is totally internally reflected right so basically this is what's happening the light is going to be reflected back into the water it's not gonna it's not gonna escape into the surface right it's not gonna reach air and this angle here is gonna be 52 right so that's what's happening here all right guys so just remember to hit like and subscribe right and those of you who are looking for csec physics classes right or chemistry or maths or ad maths you can send me a whatsapp at this number all right